think this had nothing to do with COVID. <laughs> And all flaky foils is back in the stock as well for all of you who is really love to do i can't wait to do more with this flaky foil i did encapsulating on the frame it's fun to make it's like a centerpiece it's one of a kind centerpiece This finger's nails is longer, but I'm not gonna assume. I'm gonna like measure, check. When you check the link to make sure they're all even from left hand to the right hand, left fingers to the right fingers. So you're gonna compare from right on the kitty goes and all the way to the free edges. So it looks even, like this one definitely looked longer. That's why I thought you can see that a little bit longer. So I wanna just like bring it down a little bit. This one shorter. Great. Please check it again. Great. So with if you are beginners or this is going to be even like for me, I do that all the time too. Um, Using a sand bead will help so much from like reshaping the nails. Hi, LA woman. Hey, how are you? You didn't miss anything. What well, we did encapsulating the nails with foil. And uh, marbling, soft marbling for baby maternity pictures. You should use like clean on the cuticles, but closer. And then when you get to the middle, like white on the nail surface, you're gonna keep your sand beads. So I'm using um, medium weak and I keep it flat what's I saying that you use medium medium that you said medium Um, when you do your condensed glue gel for my crystal placement, um, I think that Winter's mommy could use some help on it. Hmm? She said um, that she bought condensed glue gel, but it's still not working for her. Still not working for you? Mm -hmm. Uh, do you want to give me a little bit more details? Who, who is that question? Winter's mommy, five, two, one. The shape, uh, the file, Debbie, I'm using, um, 
I using your files 80 uh, 80 and hung uh, and 100 Surrender Surrender thank you Surrender did you play with the product yet is there a starter kit for beginners? Yes, we do. And also, um, if you check in that for the starter, like a life kit, or you can also get our anniversary kit. That is the most value kit ever. We do it special for, you know, special thanks to every single of you for the love and support. Anniversary kit, if you look at the second anniversary kit, Can I order the Louis Vuitton foil? Um, you can you can check it on the website link in the bio. I believe it's the number thirty one. Uh, Chantel foil is our stock, but also you can get the single Chantel foil designers. It's still available, and also you can get it from our treasure box that is come in the treasure box as well. It's so much fun. Or you can wait for next week, it's back in the stock. But also, the number 32 with uh, Louis Design is in there still. Available right now for you to purchase. And uh, Raven said it didn't come. I'm not too sure what she's talking about, but it says, uh, well, it didn't come with a sheet to teach you, so I'm not sure. Someone else may have one. The teaching on the um, condensed wool gel? So if you need some instruction, it's going to be on the side of the box. So don't Five, throw away the box eight. yet. Yeah. On the, on the condensed, on uh, the... Acry acrylic starter kit. Oh. From someone. Oh, oh I see. So someone change, change the beads she... to the medium. Marissa, um, is the reason to using a sanding band instead of the carbide bit for the step? Um, not much different, but if you are like, um, if you are want to smooth, like basically they like a buffing. There's like a buffing technique with that was really smooth buffing. So I just want to really clean like all of the excess powders uh, because throughout the time of uh, the procedure acrylic applications I will rebuild the structure so basically I don't have to do a lot uh, too much with my carbide bit so I like to using a sand bit to just smooth them out instead of using carbides because if you're using carbides and you start using too much and you might over filing them you might feel like you are over like heavy handed and you might file a lot of the powder off. So that's the reason, one of the reason. And also, if another reason if it's I'm doing the live and I'm showing it because if for beginners, you can easily achieve the shape really fast and easy is no minimums of troubleshooting if you're using a sand bead. That is for my personal experience that I will share for all my um, students also are my staff so then that's why you know you think that oh you have to change it to you know totally uh, two beats like the sand beats and the carbide beats it take more time actually it's not look at this I don't even have to clean any of my um, surface of the nails anymore I just use a carbide or if you don't have if you don't have a carbide say like for new students or uh, new beginners you can using the cuticles one of the cuticles um, beats you can clean that because the structure is already nice, so you don't have to use a carbide to like hold and tie that, you know, um, to work on hold and tie the nails because it's just in case you're using too much, then it takes away from your powders and the structure of the nails that you've been building in. So I hope that answered the question. Hey, thank you so much, April. You say super cute. So when I buff, I usually hold it and on the sides and buff it down instead of go back and forth because I don't want the um, 
apex of the C curve to being like flattened down. Do a top coat. Clean that. Maybe you should resend 